Got the delivery here for your next show? Oh, great. What you got? Three badgers. Badgers? Badgers? We don't need no stinking badgers! The five best bowlers on the PBA Tour's longest oil pattern advance through 12 games of qualifying, forming the stepladder final that will determine the Badger Open champion. Dom Barrett will bowl for the title thanks to a 234 in the final game of qualifying that vaulted him into the tournament lead. Barrett is making his third television appearance as the top seed, splitting his first two opportunities and winning the 2013 PBA World Championship. Barrett was quietly second on the money list in 2014, and a victory here would give him his fifth career PBA Tour title in just his fifth year on tour. Rhino Page also rolled the 234 in the final game of qualifying, jumping him from third to second on the stepladder. Perhaps more impressive, at least from an excitement standpoint, with the Greek church he faced in the third to last game. Rhino Page is going to come back to the field. This is going to be very interesting. In a 10 game update at the Greek church. And. Uh, yes, got sir. it! He got the Greek church late fall of the six pin. Well, maybe Rhino wasn't so excited. But he will be if he can win two matches on television and take home his fourth career PBA Tour title. Page seems to have come all the way back from his lingering wrist injury and is making his second television appearance of the season. Third seed Ronnie Russell was the top seed going into the final game of qualifying, but the scores were so close, a 2-0-2 for Russell wasn't enough to stay ahead of Barrett or Page. Russell has two career PBA Tour titles and he has been tantalizingly close to his third many times over the last few months, even falling in a roll-off in the Players' Championship. One would think these close calls would be extra motivation for Russell to emerge victorious. Opening the show, Walter Ray Williams Jr. makes his return to TV after wavering about whether or not to even enter the summer swing. You made the right call, Mr. Williams. The all-time leading title winner finished excessively strong in qualifying, including a 279 in Game 10, give himself a shot at title number 48. If Williams is going to climb the stepladder, he first has to get by Sean Maldonado, who shot 245 in the last game of qualifying to go from 8th to 5th, one pin ahead of Mike Fagan. Here's Maldonado again into the 240s. Oh, what a great shot from Sean Maldonado. A fill would get him to plus 276. Maldonado has been making it a regular thing to finish near the top of tournaments with three top 10 finishes of the 2014 World Series, a fifth place finish earlier this year in the DHC PBA Japan Invitational and another fifth along with DJ Archer in the Roth Holman Doubles Championship. Who needs the Badger Open title most? Find out which of these five finalists survives the stepladder Tuesday, June 9th at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on CBS Sports Network. Badgers? <laughs>